I'm sorry. So now uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, right. Now, this, the, the game's tonight, isn't it? Isn't tonight? Yeah, game? game two. Now, what do you think about the big Vince McMahon versus the Denver Denver Nuggets deal? You know, obviously, you work, uh, you know, for the Orlando Magic. You guys got a building uh, as well. They put other events in that building. I mean, w- do you think that uh, Vin- I'm, I actually, I'm nothing, not, you know, I'm not trying to be anti NBA or nothing, but I think if a guy's got a contract from dating back to August 25th, that uh, the Nuggets owner should have worked with the NBA to get that date moved. I gotta say, uh, if you're with the Nuggets organization, your goal is to go to the NBA Finals and you should plan a book an event at your house when you could be playing in the NBA Finals. That's your bad. Yeah, and Vince, and Vince comes out because, you know, you're, you're messing with the wrong guy with as far as knowing how to work. And Vince comes out and says, I'm rooting for the Lakers, and the bottom line is this. Uh, the Nuggets owner didn't think you guys were good enough to make the Finals. That's why he gave me the, that's why he gave me the date. <laughs> a mess. What a, we had our own wrestling controversy. Uh, John Cena came to our game against the Celtics Game 6 and uh, actually sold his manager tickets. We uh, upgraded him to courtside, gave him a Magic jersey to wear, with his name on the back, made it for him and everything. Uh, Celtics owner is sitting next to him courtside and says, hey, why don't you take off that jersey? Cena stands up in front of our CEO, rips the jersey off, throws it on the ground, and stomps on it. And hold on. At an Orlando Magic venue? At our game that we hooked him up with a courtside upgrade and a free jersey, too. Man, that's no. a heel move. No. That's a heel move. I mean, he tried to change from baby face to heel? What in the hell does he do? Are you kidding I me? I don't know. He's a great guy. I mean, I met him a couple of times. Seemed like a super nice guy. I had no idea he'd do anything like that. Yeah, man. he's awesome. Yeah, no, like, uh, no, no, he's awesome. My ass. I mean, he's the guest of the Magic. Yeah. And, his, and, and then the, then the uh, Boston the Boston uh, Celtic guy can work him into a shoot and gets him all lathered up, and then he does that. Well, it was the, exactly. it was, it was the owner of the Celtics, right? Is that what you said? Yeah. Not yeah, that the, well, was the owner. What did the crowd do? Did the, crowd boo, did the crowd boo him? <laughs> did the crowd boo him? Yeah, absolutely. We had it on the Jumbotron while he was doing it. We didn't know what was going to go on, and then he tears off the jersey, throws it on the ground, and stomps on it. My phone starts blowing up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, yeah, that, great, that Celtics owner must have, move. that Celtics owner must have promised him goodies, dude. Well, I mean, but yeah. but the bottom line is he doesn't live. He lives in Tampa, Florida, and would you know the nearest NBA franchise would be Orlando. So that's his, you know, that's his team. Well, he's from Massachusetts. Or, I understand he's from Massachusetts, but still. Well, there you go. If, he, if he's if he's from you know Massachusetts, that explains it. I know, but you're the guest of the Magic. They're <laughs> the that, ones. That's... They're the ones that you know took care of you. They got got. Oh my yeah. God! I got. Did you get Did you get in trouble? Um, well, we won the game, so that tends to uh, to kind of put a nice little wrapper on everything. So everything was fine. If Had we lost that game and our season ended, I don't want to think about where I'd, oh. I'd be begging you for a job right oh now. Oh, my brother. God. I can't believe You know what? i got to get Cena on the phone and say, John, you're, you're like the nicest guy in the world. You're a baby face. What in the hell would you heal out like that for? <laughs> That's hilarious. That's- I mean, well, that, that's good. Hogan or something. Well, Hogan wouldn't do that. No, Hogan, Hogan, Hogan would have drop kicked uh, the oh, the Celtics guy and and, and 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 done his big ear to the crowd for all the Magic fans and got everybody all rumbled up and everything. You know, Game Seven in 1995, I was there. It was the Pacers and the Magic for the Eastern Conference Hogan, Finals. Hogan game. and Shaq were there. Ho- well, Hogan, well, Shaq was on the team. Right. Hogan came out at halftime and did a whole routine and he had the like the <laughs> the Horace Grant goggles on and he was doing the yep. this way, that way, oh, the most yeah. muscular. He, he was doing the bow and arrow. Say it, Brent. He was doing the bow and arrow. <laughs> <laughs> but he put the magic over. Hogan went out there and, and, and well, Hogan, the knows how to, Hogan knows how to work. He put, exactly. he put the magic over. Oh. Now, see, now if you're in the Boston Garden, Brent, you do that. Right. You, you know, you do that all day. But if you're if you're in you know if you're in their house, you don't do that. I mean, it's the biggest heel, heel move of all. Oh, see, seen has got Moxie, and, and you oh. know that's like you know Spike Lee is because the Knicks fans are mad at him. He's out of the Lakers, sitting courtside, marking out the Kobe. But he's not wearing his Knicks gear, being a guest of the Lakers. See what he should have done is he should have gone out there and had a Boston had a Boston Celtics globe a Boston Celtics jersey on, but underneath it have a Magic deal, and then got up and and sh- and told the ba- a Boston Magic guy you can't see uh, the Boston uh, Celtics guy you can't see me, and then ripped off his Celtic gimmick, and there's a big Magic there. The whole crowd would have popped. <clears throat> How huge would that have been? There would have been seventeen thousand new John Cena fans. Yeah. Oh now, yeah. He- yeah. I mean, he really meanwhile, just turned heel. But, uh, meanwhile, Brent, you know, nobody in Boston cares because he didn't live there anymore, and they're not in the finals. Yeah, they I lost. mean, they didn't make the Eastern Conference finals. The te- you know, his hometown team that he shot an angle on made the finals, and he looks like a he looks like a dumbass. Exactly. <laughs> so you see it my way, don't you, Drew? I totally do, man. I'm glad you see it mine too. I mean, I I, I could not believe it. So now, now you know, with season ticket 